Let's talk about wanting to get more followers because you want to grow your business. And obviously, the larger the audience, the more likely people will buy from you. Well, it feels obvious to our, you know, instinctive brains potentially. And I want to share with you today how that could actually not be true in a lot of ways in plenty of ways. Yes, sales is a numbers game. At the same time, what can happen is you really do whatever it takes to get sales. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but like, let's just take reels, for example. So reels are like the TikTok of Instagram. And I just know that in 2025, this podcast will be so aged. It's going to be like wearing Ugg boots with shorts. And one time my husband was like, that ages you so much because it was from like 2010. Anyways, I just feel like reels is going to be so aged before we know it. And the practices of how to make short form videos has changed so much just in the couple years, three years that has they have been around. TikTok started out as 15 second videos and now it's up to three minutes and trending audios are not as cool as original audio and original editing and all these things. So ah, things change for sure, but that's not really what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about is followers because I will tell you a personal experience, but what can happen is when you think, if your primary thought is, I want more followers, then you will do what is getting more followers. And in the case of reels, trending audios, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's the niche of being a mom. And what's funny and gets followers in mom world is, you know, encouragement, which is great. Also things about like making fun of your husband or kind of complaining about being a mom. These things can make, they at least at one time they were making people go viral. I remember making a video one time and totally innocently, it was nothing's a big deal. None of this is life or death, obviously. But what we're here to say is, hey, do followers actually grow your business? That's what we're here to talk about. So I just wanna tell you a specific story. So before Macy and I, were fully, was it fully? I don't know. I was just posting on my personal Instagram, maybe for fun. And I did a trending audio that, I mean, I think it got, I don't know, like over a million views or something. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of two now. The one that got over a million views was about freaking low rise jeans. Low rise jeans and how the Gen Z is bringing back them and not high rise jeans, okay? Literally doesn't matter. Honestly, is not valuable. Is it entertaining? Sure. Could it teach people something about me? Sure. But if we are talking about being a salesperson and in the guide culture definition of sales, which is almost different than every other definition of sales I have ever heard, selling is inspiring people to take action. It is inspiring people to be bought in with their heart to what you're doing. And so you have every right. You, in fact, are. It is your duty and obligation to be direct about what you do, why it matters, and that is what makes people want to buy from you. Now, on this other end of the spectrum, what I'm about to share with you, this whole low rise jean viral video, it got me like a few thousand followers, which is really nothing compared to what some people go viral as, but that's really neither here nor there. The point is that it brought in so many weird people, to be honest. And I'm just going to be very direct and say that they were men who were not interested in anything that happened except for the fact that I was probably a young woman. And another one that went viral was me talking about about how, you know, picking up Lucy from school and how her teachers would recognize me from TikTok because this actually did happen one time. And it's a joke and it's not a big deal. But if you are a professional, then the question is, does the content you're producing to be entertaining, yes, it might make you go viral, but are those bringing in the people that really align with your beliefs that see and believe that what you have does matter? Because that changes everything. And the reality is that you actually don't need more people. The lie is that you need more people to buy from you because maybe people currently aren't buying from you. When you can sell, when you can persuade for good, you can turn your current audience into the right audience. Because think about it. If you have been selling skincare for a year and just no one is biting, if you are selling clothes and it's just like dead crickets, if you're selling workouts and you don't understand what people don't see that you see, I invite you to go a layer deeper. 
into the why it matters category. Create a sales message. This is what you learn to do in our program, School of Sales, is to go from the what to the why level. Yes, what you do is relevant, but why it matters is so much more relevant. So for example, if you sell skincare and your the why it matters is so that someone can have glowing skin and be more confident to have a lengthy conversation with your daughter's teacher. And when she sees you two having a conversation, she sees that adults value her, who are confident, who admire who she's becoming. And that creates confidence that is just one brick in her confidence wall growing up. That's why it matters. If you're a health coach and you sell 30 minute workouts, you don't just sell workouts. You sell why it matters, which is, hey, you're going to be more patient. And you're going to want to take your kids to the playground. You're actually going to be able to play tag and they're going to have core memories of their mom busting her face and laughing her head off with you. That is why it matters. And naturally people can't really do this. That's why it's a skill. And the easy route and not, I wouldn't even say the easy route. The popular route is to go viral, get more followers, do whatever it takes. I mean, back in 2019, it was buying followers. That was a very normal thing to do. And then it, you know, became dancing reels and pointing. And now it's like, oh, don't dance, don't point. Now you got to create original stuff. And so it's like, my gosh, can we ever even keep up? But that's a kind of a different topic. I'm here to say that you will be on the hamster wheel. You will be in the rat race of getting followers to make sales. And they might not even be the right people. What you can absolutely do is look at your followers and say, if there are 10 people, then aren't there 10 people who also want to make memories with their kids who also want to grow the confidence and have the conversation with the teacher. That is what's available to you is to shift people's perspective, to turn your current audience into the right audience who actually want to buy. And that's what's missing. If people like are not buying from you as you're doing it now, it's not their fault. It's your fault. And that's really good news because that means that you have control over you. You don't have control over them. You do have control over how you get their attention and you build value and you show them that despite the time it will take, despite the hard work, despite the money it will cost, it will make their life better and it is worth it. What is so lacking in the world is the level in the seeing that something is even worth their time, money, and effort. You can do that. And it is a skill that most people are not willing to learn because they've been told, don't sell, that's gross. That is being salesy. That's actually what your customer wants. Your customer wants you to show them why it matters, but they're not seeing that. That's why they're not talking to you. You might even be giving them all the answers to the test. Oh, just wash your face like this. Oh, just eat like this. And you're just giving them work to do and they're doing it. And they're maybe they like that content, but it's not transforming them into who they were meant to be. But you, what you can do is turn the audience that's not buying from you into an audience who craves what you have because you are showing them why it matters. And I can tell you this, not only have I seen it happen time after time, some of our students who have, I mean, you would look at their followers and because Instagram has been around so long, having 4,000 followers is like pretty average, you know? They are making $50,000 a quarter newly. This just happened. She's like, I am making, I just closed 50,000 in the first two months of the year. And I don't even know like what's happening, but this is all I've ever known I could do and I never could do it with her same audience and with the word of mouth that's happening because she is communicating so powerfully and on mission for to help people. For me personally, it was back in, gosh, I guess it was, yeah, 2018, 2019. If you hear me refer to those years a lot, that's because it's the year I took guide culture sales training for the very first time. And then 2019 was the first full year of implementation and a lot changed in that year. And you might've even heard my story where I talk about how I 4X my business. And that happened from, let's see, November, December, January, and February is when I 4X. So it was like a quarter or so, a little over a quarter that it took me to do that. And in that time, I had, are you ready to hear my follower count? Are you ready? 700 and 93 followers, 793. That is the followers that I have also had since 2010 when I first got Instagram and everyone from high school and college were following me. I had not put out any effort. You can go back and scroll my Instagram, enjoy. It was not cute. And that's okay. I mean, whatever. It's just how I lived my life, which was not posting on Instagram. But I thought, and you can see all the ways that I probably was posting wrong. And when the shift happened for me and I realized, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I sell. It matters why it matters. And that's what you get to show people. And so what was happening is that that business growth, I had that 4X, that was with my current followers. It was with 
friends from college. Or I'll never forget the friend from college who bought from me. And I was like, whoa, like I didn't even know she, you know, remembered me, much less would respect that I'm doing an online business because we were like dietitians together and all this stuff, you know? And these people were buying. And it was just a matter of not moving on from them, but showing them why it matters. Because the people who are in your audience now, they do. They want confidence. They want certainty. They want memories with their kids. And don't move on from them because you are unwilling to show them with skill and with directness why it matters that they buy from you. And the best part of all is that you can go from this shallow what level to why in under 10 seconds and you learn that in week one of School of Sales. But if you are still in the brain, like if you're just maybe stuck wondering like, but am I the exception? Like is is my followers like, have I messed up? Have I bought followers before? Have I gone viral and those people are not the right people? Do I need to start a new account? Whatever. I encourage you to just take a deep breath really quick and buy the book Persuade for Good. We talk about that myth in more detail in this book. And the myth, I need a bigger audience or more followers to make more sales. It's just not true. You can turn your audience into the right audience when you change into a communicator, when you communicate from what to why. And there's nine more myths in addition to that like the myth of that you need to be relevant that you need to keep up with all the trends the myth that you do need to add value and give away your best information for free there's so many myths that can be the reason that you think you're going to make more sales and it's not true at all and that's really good news because you get to grow into the person you're made to be you get to make an impact right where you are and then more people want to be a part of that so your following will grow your engagement will grow when you commit to turning yourself into the right person and then your audience will also so turn into the right people because of you.